everyone. My name is Daisy Allen. I'm the Collections Curator at the National Scouting Museum, Philmont Scout Ranch. Today I have for you the painted glass window of the Villa Fomonte. Now as you might notice in the middle pane, there is a yoke, an oxen yoke. It was found here at the villa when they were doing groundbreaking. Wade Phillips, wanting to commemorate the Santa Fe Trail, wanted to actually bring the yoke inside and put it up on the wall. Uh, Genevieve Phillips, however, had other ideas. So instead, he wanted it commissioned with this painting. Now, the gentleman who did the artwork was not from New Mexico, and he only used images taken of the area to paint this, but unfortunately, there are four distinctive errors. In particular, the Native Americans, how they are dressed, is not appropriate for the climate or the weather that's here in New Northeast New Mexico. Uh, either you would get a severe sunburn or you would end up with hypothermia. Secondly, the wagons are the wrong type. The wagons used in the image are used for transporting households and families, where instead, since the Santa Fe Trail was a commercial trail, you would have used freight wagons, which were bigger. And because those wagons were bigger, you would have used oxen instead of horses. And uh, finally, the cactus that's in the image is actually native to parts of Arizona and is never found anywhere here in New Mexico. However, it is still a very beautiful piece of artwork. And it shows Wade Phillips' interest in the Santa Fe Trail and the history of the local area. And that's all for today. We hope to see you again next week as we showcase more items and histories from the National Scouting Museum. 